Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDL44. So I, I'm, you know, thinking about some things. I heard that. I heard that. I never want to start a conversation that way, but that's exactly how it went. I heard that, you know, there was some recording going on of uh, WAC 100 saying that Nipsey Hussle, you know, caused his own death by not being uh, more, more or less prepared for the circumstances. And, you know, in the gang world, when you... Um, call a man uh, certain types of names and or call a man out of uh, out of his character then he has to handle his business also known as uh, attack with force and violence and i don't know nothing about the gang violence you know era or should i say culture because i'm not from that i believe i know based on what i listen to and you know what i've heard and the people i've been around in my life who have uh you know, been affiliated or, or allegedly affiliated in any way. And they've given me some pointers on, on how to maneuver and how, how they live in, in their way. But it, it goes from set to set from what I understand. So not everybody runs it the same way. But maybe in WAC 100's, you know, set, that's how it go. I don't I don't pretend to know. But but as far as I'm, what I'm willing to speak about is just what you allow yourself to be seen as, you know, and... You know, I don't, I'm not a tough dude. I ain't going to be trying to jump up in nobody's face. I don't want nobody approaching me about anything I say, even though you have to expect it to some degree. But when it, as it pertains to this, I'm just saying, you know, when, when you speak about a person who's passed away, and I know he did not intend for those words to get out, but when you, when you allow yourself to be seen that way, I have to assume, even though everybody going to say it's clout, 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 I've always been in the mindset, if you allow yourself to be seen a certain way, then it's going to speak to how you feel about yourself. And if, you know, and I'm not a psychologist either. I'm not the type of person that's going to try to understand a person's mindset or whatever. But I've always felt this way, even as a little kid, um, being on the bus with my mother, seeing young people watch elderly people get on the bus and not let them have their seat, even though you're sitting in the seats that you're supposed to give to those folks. You know, the, 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 the front seat, so to speak, that, that face inward. Those are supposed to be seats for people who are elderly and, and people who need to get on with, you know, obviously uh, wheelchairs and things of that nature. You're supposed to be able to give up those seats. And just seeing young people and even people of middle age just not care, to me that spoke to who they were and how they thought of themselves because you would allow yourself to be seen as disrespectful. You would allow yourself to be seen as as shitty more or less to me we can sit up here and say all day oh this person and I'm speaking about WAC 100 officially this person is disrespectful for the cloud he'd do anything to get a reaction but to me every time I hear this man speak he's just trying to he's, he's destroying any chance of people respecting him as a person fuck as a gangster Fuck as a black man, just as a human being, when you open your mouth to talk poorly about someone else who ain't here no more or to be heard in such a way to be talking poorly about people when they haven't really thrown nothing at you, you can you can say that it's for the money. You can even allow people to think it's for the money. But if you dig deep enough, you're just going to find self-loathing. That's all you're going to find. Because with the end of the day, when you show yourself to be the type of man or the type of individual that cares so little of themselves as to be seen as somebody that everybody hates, then really you're just inviting energy that everybody is going to bring to you. Good people, bad people, hateful people, loving people, they all going to dislike your ass. It just is what it is. You don't even leave no room for you to be given the benefit of the doubt when some real shit pop off. And that's self-loathing. That's, that's, that's the psychological equivalent to kicking your own ass. And I've always seen it that way my whole life, and it's time that I verbalize it. Unfortunately, in this case, it may not be the perfect example, but I've heard enough from that individual to say, to me, that's all he's ever been doing. You can hide behind the fact that it's about getting some money and it could be perceived, comfortably perceived as clout chasing. But to me, that speaks to an individual that don't love his goddamn self. I, I, and I'm going to say that as a, as, a, as a civilian, somebody that don't know that man, somebody who probably don't want to get in no fist fight with that man of any kind, don't want to see his homies and nothing. But hey, everybody has to understand when you show yourself to be somebody that is not to be appreciated, 
it speaks to your lack of appreciation for yourself. And I personally don't want nobody following in that footsteps, not not as it pertains to myself. I don't want you to look at me and say, "Okay, it's cool to be seen as an asshole. It's cool to be seen as somebody that's hateful because it ain't because all you inviting is hate. All you inviting is hurt. All you inviting is other people's pain to come your way in the form of whatever vitriol they got for you, whether it be violence, bad talking about you, pointed at your family or what have you. And that ain't worth a dollar. That ain't worth a clout. That ain't worth nothing. That shit is pointless, worthless, and useless. Now, I might sound like a hypocrite because some of y'all might say, this nigga don't love himself. He get up on TV and say, or get on YouTube and say all kinds of stuff that I don't agree with. All kinds of stuff that may make him look like somebody that ain't right. But I tell you, I tell you I'm a flawed individual. I tell you that I have issues with my mind that have yet to be addressed. I tell you that I'm learning how to love myself, that I'm coming out of a certain thing. I'm not hiding from that in any way. I tell you that I'm not a gangster. I'm not a tough guy. I tell you that. Anybody that know me know I'm not that. That don't mean that I am a pushover. That don't mean that I'm not capable of, of taking something all the way if I have to. Lord knows I don't want to. But it ain't something that I make a living out of. And I'm cool with that. But what I don't want you to think of me more than anything else is that this person don't care about himself. Or is not self-aware enough to realize he don't care about himself. So, directly speaking to Mr. WAC 100, I know you are respected in these streets. I'm from L.A. I know you have some respect, but there are many people who don't respect what you are doing out here because of how you speak and how you hold yourself. And I know you don't give a shit about my opinion. That's fine. But I would ask you to just think about what it means to love yourself when you go off and talk about someone who's passed away, whether it be hypothetical or otherwise. How... What kind of energy are you inviting to yourself? What, what kind of repercussions does that have for the reputation of your last name and your family and your set and your peoples? That may not mean nothing to some, but it should mean something to you because you're an older head. And you got people watching you and waiting for you to finally say, you know what? Maybe, maybe the, some of the stuff I've been saying just wasn't necessary to say. Maybe some of that shit just was misguided shit. You got you to gotta invite the opportunity to be better. And this comes from somebody who's been in deep depression, who's been in some dark places, who didn't even think he'd probably be alive right now. I'm a younger person than you, but I got to talk this way because I feel that way in my heart. I got to say it. It's, you, you seem like you just don't love yourself, brother, for real. And then everybody else too afraid to say it. They ain't going to verbalize it that way. They ain't going to give a fuck enough to put it out there like that. But this is how I see it. As a person who believes in Christ but don't really go to church. As a person who, 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 who just am trying to find my way in life. I just call it like I see it. It's time to improve the reputation of yourself based on the, the way that you want your little homies to look at you. Little blue face. If he act like you, he might get himself in some trouble. If he, if he follow in your footsteps in the way that you talk, he may not have the consequences that you get. And that reflects on you. And all of your homies, everybody you deal with, whether business associates, family members, or otherwise. And that speak, that's not just speaking to him. That's speaking to all of us. Especially if you have some sort of sense of, of stripes or some sense of respect or some sense of, of, uh, of leadership. The people who follow you, they may not be as lucky as you if they try to shit you do. It just is what it is, man. And a lot of that stuff just causes more and more pain. Some of us don't realize that shit. But a lot of us do realize it and just don't love ourselves enough to care. And then it'd be too late. Then the worst happened because of what come out of our mouths. The worst happened because of what we do. The worst happened because of how we present ourselves. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't got to go that way. It don't never got to go that way. You ain't got to be looked at as somebody that just ain't got no morals, ain't got no sense, can't step outside of the, of the ways that he used to think as a young person. To say, you know what, I'm a grown man now. I'm an I'm a older grown man now. It's time to just accept the fact that some of that old shit ain't work. It just ain't work. This shit ain't never worked. Being hateful ain't never worked. Being disrespectful to any and everybody, that shit ain't never work. Because all that's going to do is invite pain. Invite hate. Anyway, that's what I got to say, man. My name is Brandon Deloney Fulmer. 
in case anybody's wondering, I'm not going to even bullshit on this one. And I'm not inviting pain. I'm not inviting hurt. I'm trying to put forth some type of effort to, to do something that ain't nobody else doing. And that's addressing a grown man about how he's viewed himself and how he's allowing the world to view him in, in that process. That's it, man. BDF.